What's up, YouTube? It's your boy. It's called a TV. And, you know, I just got a few questions that I need to ask the streets. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, for you niggas who gangbang and shit like that, um, I got a question for you niggas. Um, matter of fact, I got two questions. I got two questions. You know what I'm saying? Two. Dopes. Um, do y'all niggas do background checks before y'all allow niggas to be gang? Well, y'all y'all let niggas who just be in the hood just be gang just because like I feel like gang members now, especially the OGs or this new generation coming in, they gotta change they gotta change the way niggas gang bang. Because I say that because Takashi made a way for niggas to be rats and be walking around comfortable. He made a way to be a rat and be comfortable. You feel me? Lately, I ain't been hearing niggas get shot because he was a rat. I ain't been hearing none of that lately. Ever since the Kachi started snitching, I ain't hearing none of that. I feel like if you want to be gang so bad, treat this shit like a job, nigga. You got to do 90 days probation, nigga, before you could be a gang member. Like, them OGs should really tell niggas you want to be gang. Ask them what they want to be gang for. Is it a right reason for you to allow that shit? If so, so be it. But put them niggas to the test, man. Don't let them be gang and then find out further down the line y'all getting a high speed chase or some shit. And the first nigga they snatch up is him and he start telling on all y'all niggas. He get caught with a burner, but he get out the next day and then all of a sudden all y'all niggas start getting in trouble. You don't want a scenario like that. Like nobody wants to go to jail. That shit is not for everybody. I don't give a fuck how tough you is in these streets. That jail shit is not for everybody. You feel me? Like, them jail stories that niggas tell on YouTube, them shits is for real. Them shits is real. Niggas in there, you got to survive, bro. That shit is, this shit is not a game. That sh niggas should really do 90 days probation before they could officially become a gang member, son. That's just my opinion on the shit. Niggas should do 90 days before you become official gang member. Before you become official. Before niggas can give you your stats, your little nickname, whatever it is. Put these little niggas in scenarios to see if they going to fold or not. It's better y'all do it this way than y'all got to kill a little motherfucker, son. Like, for real. Like, no more black men should be dying in these streets. Especially over some gang shit. No more black on black crime. No more. Let that shit be done with. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, you know, the OGs, you know, I, I hope some of the OGs actually out there see this video and really think about it. Like, yo, we should really get these niggas 90 days to see if they worth actually becoming affiliated with us. You know, or part of us. Part of this family. Because the way shit is set up, it's crazy. Niggas is backdooring each other, son, for other gangs, son. Niggas got family members they beef with because they in a different gang, son. Like, how, how does that work for y'all? Like, how is it okay to sit around a nigga that say, I just blew your cousin wig top off? And you pounding a nigga up, you, you know, you shaking his hand and all that. That's gang shit. No, it's not. He just killed your cousin, nigga, that you would see every day. Like, if you in a gang, let's say you in a gang, right? Let's say you a crit. And the cousin that lived with you was blood. Y'all niggas gonna fight every day when y'all wake up? Y'all niggas gonna try to catch each other sleeping and beat on each other? Like, how does that work for niggas? I know there's some gang members that's cousins, and they cool. They cause you. You know what I'm saying? Some of them niggas is cool with other gangs. You know what I'm saying? Some cousins be like, nah, not this one. He good. There's some cousins, not all cousins. But then you got those other cousins that didn't really grow up with each other. So, but they, but they know they family and they still beefing. They'll be in a shootout with each other, literally shooting at each other, son. Literally. You be like, what the fuck? What the fuck? That should make you scratch your head. That's street life, though. That's street life, though. That's street shit. That's just my opinion on that shit. You know what I'm saying? The way 6 9 walking around here comfortable. There's some numerous videos going around with niggas catching him slipping, not really doing nothing. I'm assuming they're not doing nothing because of his security. You know what I'm saying? But there's ways of, you know, getting a snitch. 
around facts. There's ways, nigga. The movies, them, them shows, they don't tell lies, nigga. They don't, them shits don't tell lies, nigga. They don't. Another thing I wanted to ask about the violation. I know there's numerous of violations that could happen to somebody that violate gang code. I know there's, there's, you know, there's beating you up, you know, there's probably stripping you or your, your gang title or whatever the situation is, kicking you off the block or, you know, you know, there's numerous of violations. I don't, I don't really know a lot of them off the top. I just know a few. But this one came across my head because it involved, you know, my cousin and her baby father. Basically, boy violated gang code and got violated. Like, y'all remember Colors? When they beat the shit out of high top? You feel me? That shit right there, that little scene, you know, for niggas who've never seen Colors, go watch that movie. It's a good movie. It's a throwback. It's a 90s movie. It's involving Bloods and Crips. You know what I'm saying? If, if that's what you went to. But boy, violate the gang code. And the wrong place to be in at the wrong time you violate gang code is in jail, nigga. They beat the shit out, boy. They beat... Niggas took turns. My turn. Beep, 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 beep. My turn. Beep, 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 beep. That same situation, that same little scene, is, it reminded me of, you know, my cousin, baby father, his situation. You know, he's in gang. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say what gang he in, but he in gang. And my understanding, he violated. Now, the thing I was questioning is, they couldn't have diff been a different way, you know, to get his ass. You know what I mean? Like, they could have fed him to another gang, like, drop him in another hood, let them niggas beat him up or something. They couldn't take his money, you know, beat up his crib, you know, violate his crib or something. They couldn't um, um, make him take a charge or something. But to beat him up that bad and then send him to his son, that's just fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I got the story. Basically, he violated gang code and niggas beat him the fuck up. Then they sent him on his way. My baby mother flipped out. I think she, I feel like she flipped out because he was around his son and his son had to see that shit. You know what I mean? Like, niggas in gangs got kids, bro. And I don't, I don't know if niggas be thinking about their kids when they join that shit or they be in that shit for a long period of time. But you got to think about your kids now, son. Y'all niggas in these gang shits and y'all don't be thinking about y'all kids, man. This shit is for real, bro. You don't want your kid growing up without a father or a mother because there's girls that's in gangs too. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit, that gang shit is real. It's real. It's not nothing to play with. You know, back to my, 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 my thing on that is his violation. There couldn't have been a better way for him to be violated. There couldn't have been a better way than rearranging his face. Because he got to go home to his son. Like... Shit like that make me want to just shoot a nigga. You violated my face, and then I got to wear this now. Forever how many weeks I got to wear this shit. You know what I'm saying? I can understand if he got violated, and then he stayed away from his kid for a couple of days and told told my cousin, like, yo, I'm a little fucked up. I don't really want my son to see me like this, so I'm going to stay away for a couple of days until I'm good. I can understand if that happened. Cool, you stayed away, he ain't see you like that, but you went to your son and he had to look at your face. I would have broke down, son. If I was that man, I would have broke down. My son got to see me all fucked up, dislocated, jaw, broken nose, eye rearranged over here. Shit embarrassing. There couldn't have been a better way for him to get violated. You know, this is just my thought on gang shit. I couldn't be gang. I'm sorry. That gang shit ain't for me. 
I'm too rebellious. I will question a lot of shit niggas probably have me doing. I'm not even going to hold you. Why I got to go slide on that nigga? I just slid yesterday. I'm one of them niggas. I just slid yesterday. Caught a nigga slipping. Why I got to slide today? Why you can't go slide, OG? I'm one of them niggas. <laughs> Why you can't slide, OG? You questioning, OG? I probably done got violated. Done again. Like Niggas will probably violate me so much they'll get used to me just waiting for me to fuck up. Because I'm just a rebellious person. Like, the street code shit is just different. Like, street code shit be going for people who, who, who neutral, too. People, that shit go for people who neutral, too. Especially when you live in the hood where shit is always going down. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers will know off the rip. When shit go down, mind your business. Cops come around, you silent, nigga. You silent. Then you got motherfuckers who be snitching, squealing, talking. Eating the cheese. Like 6 9 He walking around comfortable for niggas. Too comfortable. You know what I mean? That's just my, my, th my theory on gang shit. You know, my thoughts on it. And, you know, if a nigga break gang code and he got to get violated, can he do something back? Can he do something back? Real, real question. Can he do something back? Like him... You know, defending himself or him trying to get out the situation, is it going to make his violation even more worse? Like he got to take a beat down like a slave. Another question is, why y'all niggas don't give these little gang wannabe gang members ninety day probations, man? Put these niggas to to really see if they really about gang. Like put these niggas in situations where they get caught by the feds and they either going to fold or they going they going to hold it down. You got to really test niggas' loyalty nowadays because that shit don't, that shit ain't easy. That shit don't come like how I used to. Loyalty, respect, trust, all that shit is hard to run by nowadays. <laughs> you get a motherfucker who's loyal, trustworthy, you know what I mean, that really holds shit down, you better hold on to them because they rare. Motherfuckers who loyal and trustworthy, they going extinct. They going extinct, believe it or not. They going extinct, man. Cause motherfuckers is telling. Motherfuckers is back doing niggas. Motherfuckers is lying to you for some money. Like, damn, son. I thought you was my mans. Shorty, I thought you loved me. You backdoor me to the gang. To another gang. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just my theory on the shit, man. So I share a little bit of that. You know, drop your comments down below. I love to hear some comments. You know. You know, school me. I don't know. So school me. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying school me. It's your boy Carter TV. And I'm out. That's crazy, baby.